Hello, and welcome back to the Grand Gales. So, as you may have noticed, we are a little bit low on cash. We're minus 3,830. That's a problem. It pretty much means that our only option right now, in terms of what to do, is to sit around and, well, wait for that number to go into the positive so we can declare a war on Ruthenia. So, that's what we're gonna do. Speed 5. And there's not really anything else. I suppose I could check the Pope here. Let me just check. Uh, ask for gold. I do not have 250 piety. If I was to get 250 piety, I would get gold off the Pope. That's good to know. Uh, let's maybe hold court then. See if we can get some piety. I also like our new court. It's kind of cool. Right, let's do that. Um, okay, two towns are arguing. Um, I don't really care about either of them. I'll be honest. Are either of these people important to me? Wait, uh, whose opinion is it I'm getting here? It's a mayor, okay, or it's a provost. I don't care about either of them. Yeah, I'm just gonna get 75 prestige. An offensive monument. It was my attempt in blah, blah blah blah. Our plea to see an important monument of our culture restored was ignored by the Thane. So I can spend 300 gold and we please peasants, okay. Uh, but cultural acceptance goes down, or I can refuse it and we displease peasants. I'm going to displease the peasants. Republic of Argyle. Your Grace, the Burr of um, Ardna Merchon, uh, grows rich by our burghers' uh, dealings with the trading ships which ply the havens along the Ro Roman Empire's coast. Okay. So what can I do? I can say it's ours to... I can give Argyle to them. Okay, I'm not going to do that. Nope. Um, I can get a mercantile charter at 100%. Lowers taxes for development growth. I can spurn them, which gets us lower taxes. Or I can imprison him. I don't get any lower taxes. It is an act of tyranny, but it only loses us four opinion. I get dread, and Republican vassal tax contribution goes down. Uh, I think I'm just going to have to take the 10% or oh, the 20% holding taxes then. I think that's the cheapest option. Cool, so uh, none of those got us piety, and in fact, we've now lost money per month. Nice. Um, I can't get any more gold from uh, Holy Orders, because I believe, I, yeah, I still have to repay my loan. So though we're minus 3,830, we're actually really minus 4,500 and something, but yeah. Okay, um, I think I'm pausing and hoping for good events is our best plan. Anything in here that could help us? Not really, I think we're fine. Right, on pause. Luckily, we do make a lot of money per month, so that's good. Oh, we're obese. Well, not good. Secrets exposed. All right, somebody's gained the trait Fornicator. Doesn't matter to me. Prisoners can be ransomed. I'll take my 20 gold. Thank you very much. I will then take another 20 gold. Thank you very much. Right, let's have a look in here. We do have 24 prisoners. Maybe I should do something with them. Um, I'm not doing stewardship this time, so I don't have the ability to demand payments to get money off of them. So I think I'll just, like, go through these and just convert. Uh, can I execute? Am I okay to execute these guys? Uh, yeah, sure. Right. If they won't convert, we'll execute them. There we go. Okay. Get executed. Uh, friends and family will be unhappy, but that's okay. Convert, convert, convert. Just basically spreading our religion around the world here. Con uh, won't convert. All right, well, you're gonna get uh, executed then. Again, dread for this one. Nice, that's what I was looking for. Uh, convert, uh, recruit, convert, convert. Continue doing this. Just keep converting. If you won't convert, then you get executed. It's fine. Right, you. You have a claim on some counties. Nah, I don't need you. That's fine. Uh, recruit. Recruiting anybody who's already our um our religion. Uh, you. That's a, that's tyranny. I'll just release you. I think. I gain some stress, but that's all right. Not worried about it. It's not a lot of stress. Uh, what your claim was on? Kingdom of Denmark. 
Yeah, renounce your claims and then uh, get released. You as well. Uh, renounce your claims, get released. I'm just getting them to renounce claims so that um, no weirdness happens, that they don't try and take it over while holding other land or something. Cool. Right. Get a ton of these done here. Fantastic. Right. What's this one? Uh, courtier will marry daughter. Sure. Sounds fine. Um, clear out those. That wasn't our daughter, was it? No, that was a daughter. Uh, that's fine. It's just something we set up before. Or it might not even have been something we set up. That might have been the guy we recruited. Actually, I think that was the guy we recruited. I guess he had somebody he was already marrying. So that just made that work. Okay, nothing we need to do there. Continue just chilling. Right. Really just waiting for money to come in. Piety would be nice. Uh, do I have any other way to gain piety? Go on a pilgrimage, but that costs money. I mean, it does cost a minimum of 300. We would make our money back. Let's do it. I mean, we're already in the negatives. Let's just start uh, the shortest pilgrimage that we can. And that will get us piety. Nice. I mean, it's not like we're doing anything else with our time. Uh, gain piety, lose gold, or go get a real job. Yeah, go get a real job. No, my lord, please have mercy. My sister is sick and desperately needs medicine. Your money could save her life. Please, we'll be most grateful to you. <sighs> Alright, fine. I didn't want to lose more money. But now, okay. I'm back where I started in terms of piety. I've walked the holy path. Wonderful. And that has given us enough that we can now get 1,500 from the Pope. And we're looking a lot better in terms of money. Cool. Solace and script. Um, I can just get 22 stress off by doing that. Seems fine. Not even a challenge. As in we didn't have to roll a challenge there. Um, I'm just going to look for something. Ah, yes. How much does the pilgrim thing get us? Yeah, we get... Um, uh, yeah, we get 2... Uh, 2% monthly piety per night. Uh, so we've gone up about 0.4 piety. It's not a lot, but you know, it's okay. Take it. Right. Now we're only, you know, 1,400 down. We're like 10 months away from uh, having money. New chancellor needed. Croatia. Croatia is going to do domestic affairs, so everybody gets direct vassal opinion. It's great. Right. Carrying on. We are in debt, so we're taking some minor negatives in a couple of different holdings. Those will go away after some time. Hey, we gain 350 um, prestige for having yet another Roman province. I think there's probably a delay. Um, there's probably just a... Um, I was trying to think of the right word for it. Yeah, there's probably just a, a gap between each one event. Like, there's a, a cooldown. That's the word I'm looking for. There's a cooldown between each event. Uh, so that you don't just get spammed with them the moment you create the Roman Empire. Uh, so we're just getting some of the ones that we've already had for a while. You want an artifact of mine? No. Okay. That was easy. Uh, minus 900. Minus 700. We're getting there. Definitely getting there. And imprison a bunch of criminals. I guess I could have tried to imprison a criminal who had money. That probably would have helped. Ah, perfect. Imprison a queen. It's great to imprison the queen because um, she probably has money. She does not. She has zero money. Oh well, I guess if I banish you, you yeah, okay. I still, you still don't have money. Guess I will gain a hook and let you go. Need a new spy master. New spy master is going to be Germany. Okay. We now have a hook on her. Let's have a look at your feudal contract. I could take away something here. Um, let's take away coinage rights. Yeah. Perfect. She looks like she's going to die soon, so we might as well just do that. Gives us something to negotiate with later. People are leaving prisons. You want to give me 70 gold? Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Almost in the positive. And... Hey, we have money again. Here, 
Part of the family gives us close family opinion. I think we're working down this one, so let's take monthly prestige per night. Okay. Uh, we can declare wars now, which we couldn't do before because we had no money. What's this? The joys of wine. So we want to make Gavin like us. Uh, I am going to take a lot of stress because I'm gluttonous if I don't if I choose something that makes Gavin like us. Hmm. I lose stress here. Chance I become a drunkard, but the church stops endorsing me. Not ideal. I do like losing stress. Let's take it. Did I become a drunkard? No. Okay, that's good. Don't like that the church stopped endorsing me. It's probably time for us to sway this guy a little bit. Yeah. How much does he need for a gift as well? Probably 150? I think it's 150. Let's just wait a little bit. Yeah, we're only making 20 per month right now. Uh, this queen's feudal taxes are low. No, they're not. But I will take another hook on her. That's fine. Comfort of a friend. Our stress goes down. Nice, it's all the way down at zero now. Found university. Yeah, it's not really the time to do that. We don't have any money. We'll continue this wait in here. Get one of these through. They're imprisoned. Okay, don't do that then. Britannia. More prestige. I really just need like a little bit more money. I don't like that it's ticking down. Uh, are we reinforcing men at arms or something? Ah, we are. That's that's what's costing us so much of our money. Once that stops, we'll actually be earning... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> a lot more per month. I was wondering where it was. There we go. We have more money now, which is why everything's popped up. Um, Gavin. I'm going to send you a little gift, Gavin. He starts endorsing me. We now make a lot more money per month. Betrothed can marry, still can't marry. Can I? I can't ransom her back or something here. Nope. Okay. If I stopped the war, that would probably work, but not that worried about it. Okay, cool. Chill. Just for a few months. Now we're making 221 a month. Oh, because we started swaying Gavin. Nice. Don't need to do any of these right now. Think we're okay. Wait another month. Magnificent brooch was destroyed. Oh no. Let's um, fix these things. Okay. Uh, yeah. Do that one. Oh, cannot repair. Okay, need a little bit more money. And then this one. Sponge on a stick. How much do I need? Um... Oh, it's already at max durability. Oh, it's just got a very low amount of durability. Okay, well, I don't really know what to do with this. Probably, I'm just, you know what? I'm going to grant gift you an artifact. I'm going to gift you the sponge on a stick. Because apparently it's yours. And then I don't need to worry about the sponge on a stick. Uh, it looks like a box. Would be nice if it defaulted to the one that they had a claim on. Um, just trying to find it. I don't find it on this pass. I'm going to give up. There we go. Will not accept. I'd rather not have that. Thank you. All right. Well, um, okay then. I guess I'll have it. Right. Uh, let's wait for a little bit more money to come in. Like another month after this. Cool. Cool. Ruthenia. Now, we should have a reason to declare war. Yes, we do. Fantastic. Um, how many troops do you have? Oh, sorry. Yeah, so you have 8,000 troops. Yeah, let's do it. We can just uh, do men at arms. Declare our war. So, rally point. Down here. Raise all of our men at arms here. Chill. They now have 21,000 troops. That's a little bit more than they had a second ago. Uh, let's raid. I didn't want to do that. Uh, disband. Disband. All of these ones. We'll just disband them before anything happens. Ah. Um, Alright, so deselect. Then disband all of these. That's a lot of armies. Yeah, this is fine. 
Wait, if I merge them all in, there we go, that'll work. Right, raise all here. Oh, wait, yeah, that'll do. Stop gathering. Now we have 41,000 troops. That should do, right? Yes, okay. I don't know where they got their troops from. Were you not extremely low on cash? You were, yeah. So I don't know where those troops came from, but okay. You want these? Uh, no, they're mine. Okay, back over this way. Let's get to sieging. Head to this one. Notable guests have arrived. Let's keep moving in. They are sieging some of our land, which we'll just have to be okay with. Hispania gives us more prestige. Uh, hey, just lost some stress and gained some money. What you'd love to see. Next one. Very quick siege. Nice. Hey, we got a um, beautiful wooden warrior, apparently. Let's head up this way. Right, uh, 85 gold. We're now, like, incredibly flush with cash. Yep, we will make him dislike us because it um, means that our stress doesn't go up. Repay our loan. Means we can now get a loan in the future if we needed it. How's this looking? Yeah, still imprisoned. That's fine. Right, head north. Win a battle. They're throwing more people into the battle. Oh, they didn't actually arrive in time. But well, we'll beat them up anyway. There's a 100% war score. And we will enforce our demands. Our le uh, level of devotion went up. So we're now a paragon of virtue. And all of this land now goes to one person. So that is all under our vassal, Queen Ulita. Primary heir is someone of uh, Moldavia. Okay, that's not ideal, but whatever. Uh, do you desire anything from me? Sure, Nagolf. Okay, well, first of all, uh, convert. Cool, she likes me more. Then I'm going to grant you the vassal of Chernigov. Right. So all of that is under there. She now quite likes me. Although there's still a bunch of negatives there. And we now have Ruthenia. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That went pretty well. Uh, let's repair that throne. Uh, prisoners will ransom anybody we can get money for. Do it again. Okay, everybody else, exactly the same as at the start here. If there are religion, we recruit. Otherwise, we convert. Otherwise, we execute. Fairly straightforward. I mean, we could recruit and convert. I've just decided not to because I don't want people who dislike us in our court. Right. Um, we don't have any stress whatsoever, so there's no reason to um, go for a hunt or um, have a feast or anything. That's fine. Right. We should put in an antiquarian. Uh, let's put in this guy, my brother-in-law. Cool. That'll mean that we don't need to worry about those for a little bit. Now... Uh, do we have any other wars that would be good here? We have Holy War for Kingdom available again. We should consider that. That's a pretty good claim. That's okay. It's okay. Okay, so we can get a pretty good war against you. No wars there. Novgorod? It would break the truce. Okay, so we can maybe do that. Um, it is worth uh, remembering that we do have that Holy War for a Kingdom. So we could take quite a lot of land, especially against someone like the Byzantines here. We could, if we holy war, we will just get everything in that kingdom, which would be good. We can also start eating all of these small places. Uh, like, I could start taking duchies off of you or press for somebody else's claim. Do you have a claimant that we could potentially use? So she has an unpressed claim. However, she can never actually press it because it's only, yeah, so this is male only, um, Succession by the looks of it because although it's male preference, it looks like it's some kind of elective going on here. Oh No, it's confederate partition Okay, do you just have no heir? Yeah, you have no family and no heir. So it just goes to this random person for some reason Okay, but it, w it would be properly going um, through people if um, Yeah, if there were people available But you would you join me too far away you? That's not bad. You might say yes. Hey, there we go. We got our claim. 
So we can now press a claim on Yoldas and get all of that land. Okay, it's waiting for the guy to arrive in our court. S scheme at court. Somebody is fabricating fabricating a hook on us. Uh, that's fine. This guy has now arrived at my court, which means that I can now declare a war on you for his claim on all of that. Wonderful. Um, now, how many troops do you have? 6,000. Yes, yeah, so this is a men-at-arms war until they raise more troops. Uh, let's go here. Raise our men-at-arms. Okay, how many troops do you have now? 6,000. That's what we love to see. They don't increase the number of troops. I'll take uh, the stress uh, down there. Call in allies. Don't need to do that. Right. Diplomacy perk. Um, I'm just going to gain dread for that one. Our dread is now 31. Okay. New diplomacy perk will take benevolent intent, which increases the sway scheme power. It's not that important. We're getting closer to the one I want, though, which is um, the vassalization increase, although we might already have all the land by the time we get there. Head up here. See if we can beat them up. Never mind. If we can't catch them, we will head to their capital and siege it. That was fairly quick. Next one. Hey, we have a son named Natfrish. That's an odd name, at least compared to the other names we've had. That must be from one of the cultures that we've, um, like, uh, assimilated. When can we next assimilate a culture? Also, am I the right culture? Uh, I'm going to do this as well. Convert to local culture. Oh, you adopt the Italian. Wait, my capital's Rome? Oh, I didn't even realize it moved my capital to Rome. I guess that makes sense. Well, what's the culture over here in Kilmartin? Yeah, so that is our culture. Okay, that's fine. I'm kind of okay leaving our capital in Rome. It, it makes uh, thematic sense. Although it had been that other place for a very long time. It wasn't our original capital. But yeah, that had been our capital for a while. That was the capital after we went looking for a hill. Caledonia. We now get another 350 prestige. Okay. Uh, we can ransom prisoners. We're not going to do that just now. We're going to chase them down. We're going to win a battle. Okay. They now join in. Which is a bad move on their part. 100% war score. Enforce demands. So be it. Disband. Oh, look at that. We now have a lot more land in here. All of that is now renamed back to Iparus. And, yeah, it's looking good. So I guess we could do the same thing with Pontus here. We could go, hey, anybody got a claim? You got a claim? But you? I think I've already looked at Pontus. I believe I have looked at Pontus before. <laughs> Seeing the amount of people who are unwilling to join. I mean, I think I looked at it when it was part of the Byzantines, so slightly different, but yeah, still, they don't want to join. But you... Um, wait a second. This this might be easier. Yes, I can just press the claim. I can also just press his claim for this land. Yeah, we could do an Imperial War for it. It costs nothing to do an Imperial War. Ooh, and you have no allies. Well, that's pretty good. Let's just do it. Move over here. Uh, raise all men at arms in a pile. Okay, they're raised. They immediately run away. They were running towards us because they were like, ooh, an easy war. And then, um, you know, we raised our troops and it was suddenly a lot less easy. Okay, what's this one? Old Court. It's been five years already? I guess we did skip about two years in game by just sitting there waiting for money. Okay. Can these two people marry yet? Absolutely not. New uh, cadet branch. The Seagrave uh, branch. Okay. It's not even a hyphenated uh, branch like most of them are. What do you want? You want this tapestry. You can have it back. That's fine. Um, continue sieging. New cadet branch. Another non-hyphenated one. Cool. Right. Uh, head over here. 
don't really know what they're doing, but we're working our way close enough so that we can win a battle against them. They luckily walk directly at us, so beat them up. No longer a beast, fantastic, and enforce our demands. We get all of those counties, which we don't really need, but, you know, we get them all. Uh, this is part of that duchy, which is part of the Kingdom of Bulgaria, which doesn't currently exist. Um, Kingdom of Bulgaria. Yeah, it looks like we could probably uh, move them into it. Yeah. So I'm going to give all the land directly to this person right here. There we go. Make sure we're only doing recent titles. Now, it may make... Um, Hellas very large right now but we're going to um, give this guy a kingdom afterwards and then that's going to split their land up. Is this just two or is this oh no that's uh, that looks like three provinces right? This is okay. Um... Oh no that's, that's one singular county. Well I'll still declare for it. Right. Raise our men at arms. There are other people who are di who are fighting for this. Go this way. They're running away. Uh, somebody got a claim on one of our titles. Not worried about it. Merge up. Very quick siege. Uh, Hibernia. We've now got. Antiquarian position is now empty as they're dead. Need a new marshal. New marshal's gonna be Poland. Don't know why it's lagging there. Seems to lag a lot. Um, I'm not giving you those. Uh, but it seems to lag an awful lot with armies in the late game. Not entirely sure why, but hey. Uh, it's not that big a deal. Here, let's go and set ourselves a new antiquarian. Um, I don't really care who it is as long as they notify us when things are about to uh, expire. Beat them up. They they ran into us valiantly, but now they're valiantly dead. Can I create Bulgaria yet? No, I'm still one away. Expand armies. Uh, this I'm also going to give to uh, this person. Yep, grant you that one. Okay. Anything else I can easily take in Bulgaria? No, I would need to take some land from the Byzantines for that. But hey, we can work that out next time. Thank you for watching. Uh, we've really cleaned up a lot of land here. We're taking some land off the Byzantines, taking some land over there. Yeah, I think that in a you know couple of episodes, we'll have this all cleaned up. You've got, um, I think, 33 years left in-game to do it. So, yeah, no problem. You look like you've got wars against you. Ah, Grand Principality of Smolensk. So that's a duchy, right? Yeah, so all of that might go away. Although they're winning in that one. And then Lithuania are claiming on a county. Just while I remember then. You're the ones who've declared on White Rus, right? Yeah, you have money. So I don't know, I'll, I'll send you a little bit more so you might be convinced to uh, use some mercenaries in your war. Let's get them over a thousand. Cool. Just a small loan. Right. Well, with that, I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.